Invading the internet covering web 2.0, coast to coast, worldwide, and everywhere in between. This is where you put the social in social media. We are Social Blade. Yes, we are. We are Social Blade, and we are here again on a Thursday evening, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern, 11.30 p.m. in Nova Scotia or wherever Aaron is. And it is Newfoundland. A Newfoundland. We are beeping, ready to rock and roll. An absolutely wonderful Social Blade show, one that I don't know if anyone has ever seen before. I know that I personally have not seen the show yet, and I'm very excited to watch it when I do get to see it after it's already done. Uh, but with that said, we do have to hurry because Dig is going crazy, and um, I need to get about 15 or 20 submissions in in the next 30 minutes. So, Patrick, what do you think about all that stuff? Uh, I, I think it's uh, outlandish. I think it's crazy. I think I'm missing the boat. Um, <laughs> I really need a Dig account timed like this. Why do you throw these things in my face? Sorry. Um, <laughs> no, but this is... What it would be a good thing to do is to uh, mention the fact that we're still taking voting and we'll nominate or we'll announce the final five finalists for the uh, first annual uh, Digger of the uh, Year Award. I don't want to, not Digger of the Year, but uh, Social Blade Digger, well, yeah, Digger of the Year. Excellence in um, digging. Getting a lot of votes. Uh, we got uh, a lot of people, Greg, EMFK, uh, Al and a bunch of others. We'll name the top five in, um, uh, next week, and then we'll have y'all vote from our uh, from the what you call it from our website, and we'll go. Yeah, we'll there. have a poll. For those who don't wow. know, the website is not at whatchamacallit.com. <laughs> it's actually socialblade.com/show. Just just it up. Sorry, gang. <laughs> <laughs> Pat's under the weather. We wish yes. we wish him well. Yes, Pat. He's been feeling sick. Pat, Pat, this might be Pat's last show based upon the way he's been sounding the last week. I'll pull through. I'll pull through. It's a tough one. He's uh, between Aaron's broken foot and my my broken skull and Pat's broken lungs. Um, this could be a two-person show by the end of next week. So, Victor, so crossing our fingers it? and hoping for the best. But at this point, we don't know. We don't know. What JD said, "Smoke so much, I got an iron lung." <laughs> <laughs> Victor, Victor, I just know. Oh, and by the way, oh, good job, Victor. Victor. Yeah. Alan and everybody seems to pop. For those who haven't noticed, if you go to dig.com, um, just keep hitting refresh every 10 seconds and you'll see new stories on the front page. That's what's going on. Dig has become the new Twitter. It's just a co constant rotation of, of everything. <laughs> um, yes, we're all gone. We're a one-man show. We're, we're completely gone all together. It's beautiful. Um, there it is. That's the dig that I was looking for. Right now, if you go to dig, you can find that there's an ethics panel. Finds Charlie Wrangle did something because it's too far. But whatever it was, I'm sure it's breaking, trending, beautiful news that we all need to to know and love about right now. Look at that, Victor Barrera hitting the front page. Patrick, no, never mind. Um, uh, yeah. uh, 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 you're killing me. Oh, love, love. For those who don't know um, or who have not yet, please hop onto your Twitter account. That's T W I T T E R dot com, and um, tweet out the fact that Social Blade Show is live and in living color right now as we speak. And I can't wait to see this episode after it's done because it's going to be a tremendous and epic one. This week in social media was huge as we start with even news from Twitter itself. Not only from Twitter, but the very once powerful and, and hopefully more powerful in the future Yahoo site. For those who don't know what Yahoo is, it was actually a search engine at one point before it was was dominated outside of a search by, by sites called Google and and. Microsoft now known as Bing, um, but they're making a comeback. They are they partner with Twitter <clears throat> in a way that is supposedly a bigger and better than what Google Twitter and what Bing partner with Twitter. Um, this partnership is a full on integration, not just with search, as the other two BMS were were able to integrate, but Yahoo is actually integrating and becoming a part of Twitter and vice versa. Um, you'll now be able to to update your status from Yahoo. So basically, they're becoming a, a Twitter client. If you don't know how to spell Twitter.com or if you don't have uh, TweetDeck or any of those variations, you can just go to Yahoo and, and tweet directly from there. You also have access to your, your Twitter feed on Yahoo. So if you log into Yahoo, attach it to your Twitter account, you'll be able to, to do everything. Bottom line is Yahoo is making a play that is basically trying to piggyback on the growing success of Twitter. 
Um, not that it's it's as big as any of the sites such as Facebook or MySpace, but it is it is definitely growing, and Yahoo is is latching on as best they can. Let me turn that down. Um, they are they are latching on and and making making uh, what's the word for it? Making moves of desperation that will hopefully work out in their favor. Because I always like Yahoo. I, I started using Yahoo long ago, and um, you know I even bought into the whole whole search aspect that they were utilizing and um, then Google came along and, and, and shot all that down. But from Twitter's perspective, obviously this gives them, this continues to add to their credibility as a social social network, social site. The real-time web is huge. We all, we all keep hearing about it. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but this integration kind of comes full circle as Twitter already had integrations from a real-time web perspective with Google and the aforementioned Microsoft Bing. Bing! So, um, so yeah, um, I would love to find out what, what Ergo thinks. Ergo, have you tried these new features? I have not actually tried the new features yet. You're um, not a Yahoo user, are you? I'm not. I, the only real, well, the only features of Yahoo I actually use are the, I used to use the mail many, many years ago, but I, I'm a Flickr user. Um, but I, I never even used Yahoo for search. So, um, it, uh, the Yahoo buzz when it was around didn't really use that either, but, uh, Yahoo for Twitter, ah, since I don't use the service much beyond Flickr, it's probably not going to be a big deal for me. But, you know, uh, as more sites uh, start using Twitter, that's good in my opinion. Definitely is. For those who don't know, um, Flickr is, is owned by Yahoo. So you actually use a Yahoo login right. to get into Flickr. Um, and that was, when, when I first saw this news, that was my, that's what I thought the play was. I thought, all right, you know. Uh, Yahoo is trying to trying to integrate Twitter full force um, and buy them and, they, and just take they, them over mm. like they did with my blog log and so many other things. They might uh, be uh, they might be trying to uh, out um, Twitpic with their Flickr service. Uh, oh. oh, that's a good. Mm. I hadn't thought about that. That's a good point. Yeah. Definitely. Um, Sure. Oh, totally. I mean, Flickr is already one of the world's largest image hosters, and if they integrated with Yahoo's uh, Twitter interface, that could be super a super ideal alternative to things like TwitPic or YFrog. Definitely. Now, I want to ask um, Aaron about this just because I want to hear Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I, was, I was trying to keep this really like straightforward, let you tell your story, but I had a bet going with, with Jason last night, and I said... Don't say anything to JD, but I bet any money he's going to ask me to introduce this story, and you didn't. But but continue, he did he did continue. still ask, so I think that still counts as a win for me. No no for me because I said it. We totally all, for me. When you guys lose, we all win. So uh, <laughs> so yeah, definitely. No, it's I mean let's face it, Yahoo Yahoo has been in trouble for the last two years. They've been trying to to basically. Uh, maintain their relevance because they were on top of the world in 2002, 2003, and they have let the world slip through their fingers um, with poor move after poor move. This one being the latest potentially strong move, but again, it's a risk because you know they're they're coming in late. Even though this integration is stronger than Google and Microsoft, it's still a a they're still third third to the party out of a party of three. So so we'll see how it pans out. I don't think it's huge news. Um, because I don't think there's just a just a ton of Yahoo users out there, and it's sad that I say that because let's face it, um, I'm being a little bit what's the word for it? Uh, I mean Yahoo is still what the second or yeah. third. There's still a um, ton of Yahoo users. <laughs> yeah, there's still. It, it's really a win for Twitter. It is. There you go. It's a win for t Twitter mm -hmm. wins. Um, especially <laughs> speaking of which, what do you think about that? Well, uh, there, there's actually, it's not specifically related to Twitter per se, but uh, there, there's a little uh, bet going on, I guess, by uh, some company or a company called uh, Confuse.com that I guess does uh, insurance rates. Um, you can compare it between different sites. Anyway, they're warning or at least predicting that sometime in the near future, uh, if you are a Twitter user, or especially if you're a Foursquare user, and other uh, sites that list your exact location, that your insurance premiums, home insurance premiums, uh, might be raising. Um, this is a, a story uh, from a British company, so they're saying buy 10 pence, um, which I'm not too familiar with British currency. Holy but crap! I think that's not too much. Yeah. 
Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, what what think, what they're basically? On, give me a second. Let me. Uh, I'm trying to Google Pence real quick. Go ahead. Continue. It's less than a quarter. Yeah. Go okay, to Pence. Yeah. It, it used to be that it was about a dime. Things changed. Yeah. And anyway, anyway, what they what they were saying though is that uh, there's the location based services like um, Foursquare and even Twitter with uh, them lo uh, logging your location into your profile. With some Twitter clients doing that. Uh, they're saying that uh, people will know when you're away from your home. So it, it just is an invitation for them to come rob you. Basically, it's easier to rob you if they know you're not home in the first place. So please yeah. rob me. Dot com. That, you, <laughs> yeah, they're laugh, but actually you, got suspended, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Um, they were There was a hashtag going around, please rob me. And, you know, it was kind of a joke to some mm -hmm. people. I even saw our good uh, good friend Andy, Mr. Baby Man Scorsini, using it. And uh, But, you know, it, it only takes one person to really get robbed until, you know, people start saying, well, you know, the novelty's kind of warm off, and bam. No more Twitter account. Oh no, I really, I actually did rob some people using the search. Let's <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's robbed me, helped somebody. <laughs> hey, look, look but, um, we, we can go rob uh, Nash uh, Abed. He just left home and checked in less than a minute ago to Subway. So nice. there, there's your opportunity right there. The average uh -huh. Subway sandwich run lasts approximately eight and a half minutes. Let's go, guys. <laughs> That's what kind of creeps me out about four squares. Like when I'm on Facebook and it pops up, like so and so is at Bagel's Diner on the corner of Fourth and Fifth. I'm like thinking that's kind of creepy. A lot of people can take advantage of that and like dock you and, and hunt you down or go rob your house. You know, I've always said you if I don't get a death threat now and then, I'm not reaching enough people. Oh. <laughs> Quiet! I'm gonna kill you. See, there it went. I'm good for the day. You know, but in general, though, I mean, because last week when we had Reg on the show, he really um, was pretty gung ho about location aware uh, applications such as you know Foursquare, GoWalla, stuff like that. And um, you know, and he and he's talking about how you know a lot of the Twitter applications and a lot of companies from a web presence perspective are kind of moving in that direction. Oh yeah. But you know, something about think about is that, you know, with with location awareness comes a certain liability that, you know, you better choose your four square friends wisely. Um, you know, in, in terms of who can see where you are when you check in when you're not home. because uh, it's because it's all, you know, it's all it's all info mm -hmm. that in the wrong hands, you know, could be taken advantage of. One thing, and, um, one thing that uh, they, they recommend, and I, I recommend also, don't post your home address on these things. Don't ever check exactly. into your home. Check in, fine. Check into your library or your bookstore, don't coffee shop, them. whatever. But don't. Check, uh, yeah, I use Ergos. Yeah, don't check Wait, in at home. Wait, but then how do I become mayor of my house? It's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it. Okay, okay, it's not worth it. I'll remember that. <laughs> Dang it. Nice. All right, note to self, change mayorship. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to be a mayor of something. Or I mean, your address. <laughs> well, hurry up and do it before you get married, Victor. <laughs> yeah. oh. Cool. Oh. Sometimes change can be good, though, like with MySpace, Victor. Yeah, you know, um, there, there's a lot of uh, evolution and development going on all across the web, but one hub specifically where this is happening uh, more so than, than the average uh, spot is MySpace. And, and I know a lot of people, you know, they think of profiles with uh, the glitter and the R&B tracks bumping in the background when you think of MySpace, which for the most part was true in the, in the past. Um, but they've actually revamped their, their way their content stream works or their stream is and uh, what used to be just columns of kind of meaningless uh, status updates and blog postings is now um, a more integral part of the MySpace experience. They're including things like what kind of music your friends are listening to. You can also integrate uh, info and profiles from other sites such as FriendFeed, Twitter, and, and all sorts of other um, great social networking avenues. So, um, you know, you guys should check that out. Um, but I think what this does, though, is it speaks to MySpace's larger um, core strategy, which is um, they want to they want to put a focus back on not just profiles, but focus on uh, content, whether it's created by users or whether it's just something cool that's trending on the web that you know they want to feature 
um, you know, and let people get in on, let people comment on, and um, basically uh, sending traffic from MySpace to larger content, um, you know, providers. And I think something that is very um, uh, demonstrative of this is MySpace's content screen, um, which you can view here. It's called Today on MySpace, and, and what this is, is it's essentially a, a trending aggregator that's taking content and news from all across the web and they're basically you know it's this whole page on myspace and they're sending something like 900,000 uh outbound uniques a day uh via this site um so for people who think that myspace doesn't have any uh sending power uh, they still do i mean for as much as they've been on the decline um i think that they're still trying to make their way into the fray from a uh, from a content sharing perspective and and so I don't think it's going to be too far in the near future um, when we're going to see things like tabulated MySpace share buttons all over your, your favorite and most popular blogs. Um, but yeah, you know, in general, MySpace is doing some things quietly, uh, albeit uh, important things. But, um, you know, it'll be interesting to watch what direction they're going to be taking things in the near future. Are you serious? Huh? Just making sure you were serious. I, I have not been following the MySpace development, but I've always I gave up on them. You know, it's it's kind of happening quietly and slowly. It's nothing like they're not making earth-shattering developments. I mean, it's they're not totally innovating. Uh, you know, the the social uh, space uh, industry or anything. Um, you know, it's all kind of they're quietly going along. You know, catching up with Facebook in terms of some minor features. Um, but but do believe me, I mean, they still have a larger strategy where, you know, they may surprise us in terms of, um, you know, making changes to MySpace so that, you know, to basically make it more appealing to the average social media uh, user, you know, Twitter users, Dig users, Facebook users. Well, you know, I, I, I know you Twitter. just did not say that fa uh, MySpace is making changes to catch up to Facebook. There's no <laughs> way. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing. Can it's I have my Twitter MySpace, unicorn? MySpace is the Bernie Mac of social media. It's oh, gone. Oh. It's been gone. Too soon. It's, too it's, soon. It's the boner it, from throwing. No, you're right. It's it, done. I mean, but that's the thing, Pat. Is you can't you can't conceptualize it like it's MySpace I, versus Facebook. You know, it's, not gonna go it's not going to go away because there's. It's not going to go away. MySpace will be around for quite a while. Yeah, it's I mean, not going to catch up. It won't gain but, on MySpace. On but, let me say something, Pat. Um, Okay. It, you can't really look at the whole MySpace thing in the context of a competition with Facebook because, frankly, that's just not the case. Everybody at MySpace fully understands that they're not really competing with Facebook. What they're going to try to do is that they're going to try to offer a product and feature set that you know kind of complements um, all your other social media related activity, whether it's on things like Dig, Twitter, or Facebook. That doesn't necessarily mean MySpace is going to try to recreate every feature that Facebook currently offers. What they're going to oh, do? Oh yeah, I know. They're going to make ways to complement the ways to to basically um, give social media users an incentive to maintain a MySpace account in conjunction with everything else they're doing, whether it be on MySpace, Twitter, Dig, Facebook, you name it. Um, so, I mean, just, you know, in terms of the pretense of, of where MySpace is going, it's not so much a competition with Facebook. It's a, we're still here, now it's damage control. I, I didn't say it I was a competition, and, and I'm not disagreeing to use it, I'm not you know? disagreeing with what you're saying that MySpace is doing. But I, I will say this, that, uh, and I know MySpace isn't going to go away for a long time, but I can guarantee you that it's not making any gains on Facebook, and it's not picking up. It's not gaining back any of the people that they lost. Uh, maybe a, a, a few, but when the people get, when you go from face, MySpace to Facebook, you're not going to go back. There's just, you're I mean, right. yeah, he brings they, up a good point. Not, they're not what mutually are they exclusive, though. They're really not. I, 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 I know. I, you keep saying that. I understand that. But what are they going to get? What are they going to do to attract new people? They're going to have to hope that the people that aren't using MySpace and not using Facebook are going to try MySpace. And then when they try and pick up their friends, and I've had this happen, hey, hey Patrick, you know, do me a favor. Add me as a friend on MySpace. I'm like, nah, I don't even do that. Join me on Facebook. I don't do that. Well, you might as well. And, and now they're on Facebook, and they, didn't, they never even finished you know, filling out their profile on MySpace. I'm joining they're High Five. 
You're yeah. going to what? See you on Bebo. <laughs> but I, I was yeah, going to say, mean, Victor. I'm done talking about MySpace. I really am. But I'll just leave it at this. Um, as long as they continue to build revenue and make a lot of money, they're not going anywhere. Yeah. I, I didn't say I, I agree with you 100%. You, you're just saying catching up with Facebook. I don't see that happening. Don't mess with Pat's Facebook. Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what he gets for voting Twitter over Facebook. I got to win out for Facebook somewhere. Yeah, as a big fan of um, Rupert Murdoch, I have to say that, um, oh my gosh, our our viewership just, just dropped 30 people as soon as I said that. How funny. Uh, <laughs> I, do, I do hope that MySpace is able to, quote unquote, grow up because they were, you know, they were stuck for a while, in my opinion. And so, um, you know, Aaron, last thoughts on MySpace? I just wanted to know, like, if they're going to make all these changes, what are they going to do about the about the uh, pages that already exist and are blinged out? And I don't think people are going to be too happy. Those teenagers and and um, young folks that love the show that we or the movie we cannot talk about, uh, I don't think they're going to be too too happy with um, getting rid of all the work that they did with their web 2.0 layout and their blings that they went looking for. And I don't know. How are there they going to be People, I think there will be. A lot of angry people with missing uh, glitter unicorns. And missing teeth. Uh, <laughs> that's that's that was undeniably true. <laughs> Sorry, Rupert. I, I love your stuff. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, but one thing that I do truly love, and this, this comes from both the heart, the soul, and the mind, is hot hardware. I love them because hot hardware, for those who don't know, for those who haven't been following the show for the last six months. Hot Hardware has stuck with us and been our, our primary and only sponsor um, throughout the entire entire time. They make Social Blade possible. Um, I don't even want to get into the millions of dollars they've paid to make this happen, but what I will tell you about is what Hot Hardware does. Dave Altavilla and his team have put together a tremendous site that gets into the really, the, the hardcore, basically it allows people like me and a lot of you to, to have um, basically expert knowledge without having to pay for it. If you're considering buying something, if you're considering um, switching from, from one piece of hardware to another, one laptop to another, looking at different processors, trying to determine which one is going to work for your needs, hot hardware gives you an unbiased, um, unpurchased view, I should say. Because in, you know, there's so many sites out there that offer reviews. You realize and find out that these reviews are not necessarily unbiased. Um, hot hardware, on the other hand, if you Check out their sites. If it's good, it's great. Um, they're willing to say it. If it's not good, um, hey, <laughs> they'll tell you. They'll let you know. And the, the hottest and the brightest of the stuff that's coming out there um, is great. I personally go there myself because just from a as an avid dig user, um, Hot Hardware is a is a is a great site to find content that appeals to the tech savvy uh, community. Thanks, Ridge. Beeping at us. Um, the, the tech Sorry. community that is known as 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 dig. And so, uh, so yeah, keep that in mind as the dig front page keeps flying. I mean, I'm looking at this, guys. I'm sorry. I, I, I know I keep going back to dig, but, man, I mean, there's like a new front page story every couple of seconds. I can't keep the page going. This is like my Twitter stream. I might have to, to get a tweet deck for dig the way that this is going. Um, you know, Victor, Victor hit when we started the show, and now that submission is all the way down the – halfway down the page. I just don't get it. But I'm I'm very happy, pleased, and we'll see if this sticks. Um, in other social media news, Ergo is going to tell us a little bit of something about a word that I can't pronounce. <laughs> uh, YouTube, Tufts, video, is there? <laughs> They're not that hard to pronounce, really. College. <laughs> college. Oh yeah, yeah that too. <laughs> I can't pronounce spell college. Ah. Uh, so. Well, <laughs> yeah, and so basically. Uh, Videos these days have become so popular. In fact, you know, you're watching Social Blade in video here right now. Um, you're not listening to a podcast. Uh, colleges thought that um, they should take that into account as well. And uh, what Tufts is doing is they're uh, the first college or university, rather, that is accepting videos as part of the application process. Uh, there, uh, for this new year, uh, there's been 15,000 applications and of that 1,000 of them included videos. 
Uh, about 60% were from females also, uh, and two thirds were from financial aid applicants. So it might look like uh, people that are, need financial aid to get in might think it's better, you have a better chance to get in if uh, I do a video, not sure. Uh, they aren't planning on getting rid of the written application process, but uh, just really the videos, uh, one of them is actually on the screen right here also, uh, just add to your resume and show another side of you that you really can't talk about just inside um, a standard application. So it shows a little bit of a creative side, especially since uh, you know there's so many programs, um, liberal arts, colleges, whatever, that uh, you're trying to do that you just really can't express and just through normal grades. It shows extra effort, and uh, you can also get creative and impress people. What do just you guys to make think? sure I'm clear here. Yeah. Just to make sure I'm clear, you're playing a video of a guy – who is applying to go to a school where with the mascot known as the Jumbos and he has a flying helicopter. Uh, but look, uh, look, it shows that, it, okay, I don't know what this person is applying for, but if he's applying for some degree in engineering, it shows that, uh, you know, he's really into it. He has created this flying helicopter uh, elephant <laughs> and uh you know it's it and look here's a view of his uh his desk there so it shows that he's really into it he's not just applying just for a degree he you know he, he really will get something out of it there that was beautiful brilliant and inspiring um if i were if i were a college um admissions person um i would definitely let her come on into my college this yeah. i think it's smart to you know, incorporate, start at least incorporating some social networks into uh, applying for for colleges or universities, especially when you have to sometimes write essays to get in or um, there's a, a long waiting list. This can make that process go faster. So I think it would be great. Um, and I'm glad that, that Tufts University or it's university, right? It's university, right? Tufts University, yep. Okay. Um, is The fighting job. is starting What's that? The fighting Not jumbos, he said. Not uh, elephants. Go. <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't laugh at that. that was just Don't laugh at that. Of that was, gonna make them t do it more. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jumbo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm just glad that there's a university that's willing to take that step, take that leap, and start incorporating and taking this medium serious, um, and using it in applications. But um, like businesses are, they're starting to take on social media, there can be some negative feedback. Um, so unlike any mediums before it, social media has developed real-time dialogue between people and businesses without ever leaving your house, your state, province, or even your country. The world has become smaller through internet abilities and by social media integrating into the way we engage with one another. Businesses now have the opportunity to express their corporate personality freely without the strength of coping or agile responses or even trying to lead. They now have the chance to get feedback on their business in the now. Although the majority of social engagement will be positive and motivating, there will be times in which you will feel as though you took two steps forward and three steps back. Negative comments will occur, and it could be easily posted to any one of your social networks. Question is, are you ready for them? So first, you need to establish what type of off-putting remark was made before you were able to respond. Was it a complaint about a product or service, a suggestion of how to improve on your business, an angry feedback, or perhaps it was random um, from a person with no validation just because they wanted to cause trouble? Regardless of what kind of feedback, it does frown upon your business and is unlike the old private comment box that used to be on the uh, secretary's desk, this is very public and the desk is now the world. But don't fret. First things first, shake it off. Think of a response and always remain professional and positive. If the comment is a complaint about a product, service, or if it is a negative suggestion, make sure you always reply. You need to be active even if you don't agree. This will show others that you are in fact listening and respecting their opinions. Thank them for their suggestions even if you never plan on implementing them. 
You are still showing loyalty in a kind response. An angry comment is always hard to not take personally and even harder to turn it into uh, something positive. So do it. Anyways, uh, it'll look better on your business and on you. Let him or her know that the issue is being dealt with and mean it. Show your other fans that you mean it as well. If it requires an exchange or refund, then share it. It's better to lose a bit of ego than to lose that fan or your cool. Now, lastly, if you spot feedback that has no relevance or is in a spam-like manner to shine a more positive light on your competitor, then ignore it. Do not engage in anything that resembles a provoking, untruthful remark or link. Remove it and move on. Now, with that said, this can be applied to any type of comment, feedback, or article that is written to showcase you negatively, whether it be fact or fiction. With the many positive attributes social media can possess, there will always be moments in which others may take advantage of your success, be jealous of your stature, or could think that they're simply having fun at your expense. This doesn't mean that you have to be walked all over and never defend yourself. Just be able to do it in an intelligent and non-provoking way. If you do respond, just do it once and make your point clear. Do not engage in an online war, for that is not best for either party. Now, tonight's guest has dealt with his fair share of social media negativity, swinging both ways. Before we learn how he has dealt with this, let's have Pat introduce him. Pat? Pat. Pat is going to introduce. Pat. Pat is so upset by what our guest <laughs> did that he's Relax, not going to introduce him. I I hit the mute button again. Unbelievable. So oh, no. Sorry, gang. That's my fault. Um, <laughs> the the uh, statement of the day is uh, I'm a dupe shag. Ergo's a dupe shag. JD's a dupe shag. Uh, the question of the day would be Victor, wouldn't you like to be a dupe shag too? <laughs> you were left off. You know. I, I thought about it, and at first, I was pretty insulted. I was omitted, obviously, from that list. No, no, no. Um, You're definitely doob shag material, man. It's cool. Yeah. No, it's, um, it's all good, bro. It's all good. I was just, you know, I was just kind of offended that I wasn't on the list. But in retrospect, hey, I can deal with it. It's all good. Nah. Yeah, can you just explain quickly for those who don't know what we're talking about, what a doob shag is? And first, well, explain I've... who you are by introducing yes, yourself. Yes, yes, who are we talking to here? Yeah. I, let me go. <laughs> well, I'm Mark. Hi. I'm Mark. Uh, in a lot of places, I'm known by my last name, Murnahan, M-U-R-N-A-H-A-N. You can pronounce that Smith if it makes it easier. Hello, Mr. Smith. Yes. <laughs> Just spell it right, will you? So, Murnahan, we got that yeah. all taken care of. <laughs> um, so how you doing tonight, Mark? I'm doing fantastic. I appreciate you coming on the show. Um, you wrote this interesting article, and it's generated, uh, I want to say, a lot of popularity. Uh, I don't want to say popularity. It, it, a lot of controversy. I liked it. Uh, to be put, put on a list for me with, uh, you know, the likes of uh, – Chris Brogan, Guy Kawasaki, uh, Red Sadler, who was our guest last week, Rob McNeely, um, uh, and, and of course, uh, Ergo and JD. Out of the 12 people, you know, being one of those 12s, I, was, I took it as being flattering. Um, well, you know, I couldn't you know, fill I, it with I, so, so many people, but, I, you know, I picked some people I could think of off the top of my head and people I kind of pulled out of wherever I could. And I tried to find the worst picture of him if there was something, but I didn't spend a lot of time on that. I was busy writing. JD yeah. only has well, one mean, picture online, so his picture is always you know this what? one. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's funny that last topic on negativity and, and how, you know, bashing people. I mean, in this article, I talked about how, you know, douchebag is kind of overplayed and, and the whole negative thing. I thought we needed a term of endearment. Funny thing is, though, if you look at the dig on that article... Um, there was some. There was a comment on there that accused me of being a, 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 all kinds of nefarious creep. You know, the funny thing is, though, no, I didn't get paid for it. I wasn't looking to get paid for it. I wasn't trying to play on somebody's coattails. I'm just not your grandma. When I write something that I want it to be funny, I kind of, I kind of uh, let it hang out a little bit. Throw on the cheese whiz. Um, no, it, it, and I think you achieved that. And you know, as far as it, it generated a lot of interest. Um, it, it was, it was fun. both popular and controversial. 
Um, I think it was well received. And before we get into like who else have you heard from, I want to um, ask the uh, viewers out there. Um, Dube Shack just doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. I'm wondering if anyone out there could come up with a better idea. Um, Aaron and Ergo and, and Victor and JD will be watching as I continue uh, um, interviewing Mark and talking with Mark. Um, <laughs> if you have a better word than Dube Shag, throw it out there. You Shag. Well, okay. uh, <laughs> like you that. Shag. That's nice. So, nice so, so the, um, Soji's shirt had, had said, why is it only guys? And would girls be called Dubes Hag? Well, you know, we could go with Dubes Hag, yeah. yeah. That, no, that, was, that would be the Dube Shag's girlfriend, would be the Dubes That's, Hag. Oh, for the girl. Okay, so briefly, can you give us a description of what, uh, a du- like, what you consider a Dubes well, Hag to be? I tried to make it, you know, pretty obvious. I mean, I, I kind of joked. It, it was really just a joke on, you know, um, kind of one of the biggest, biggest uh, internet trends we've seen of, the fact that you don't have to be um, popular in, in old school media or good looking or, or, or any, you know, the, the kid that got beat up at school for, for uh, being a nerd or whatever. Well, you know, now he's got a lot of, a lot of clout and he's made a lot of friends and he's, he's uh, created a lot of influence for himself. And, and uh, I did add an addendum onto that because really uh, I think, uh, uh, in case anybody took that wrong, uh, that it was certainly not meant to be any, any kind of an insult to anybody, not whatsoever. I mean, uh, it was really kind of more a play on the fact that there, there is an influence that some people will build in spite of all, all other things, you know. Well, um, it's like you almost compared us to the Bud Light Real Men of Genius. I, you know, I looked Again, back at that and I thought about that. I thought, God, you know, maybe that did sound a little, but it was fun, you know. And those are real men of genius, man. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of theirs. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, yeah, and uh, you know, I was, I was, like I said, I was happy to make the group. Have you heard now, Reg? Are you, Reg is in here? Could you type in here if you're here, Reg? He's there. Um. Okay. I just want to know if he was listening or not. Um. Have you heard from anybody other than? Myself, Ergo, and uh, JD. Well, I have certainly, um, and from a couple of people, they said, "Hey, man, that was that was great, entertaining. It was fun, and uh, I'm glad to be on the list." Heard that so from I mean, people. Club, you're heard it from, from huh? So for, from those people that that said that, I mean, mm-hmm. uh, well, they're they they pretty much agreed with the sentiment you know they see where you're coming from and they understand mm-hmm. I, I mean for the, a lot of these people it's not the first time that they've been you know i don't want to say beat up on but uh mentioned in this type of an article i was called a social media douchebag last month as a matter of fact last well, month it's been that long yeah about. dude what what tammy <laughs> says about you doesn't count jd it's it's what people <laughs> outside the house say <laughs> Tammy and the kids don't count. You can't use that. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, um, let's 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 talk a little bit more, uh, uh, just briefly. What inspired you to write it? You, you, we talked about this. Well, I got a call from, uh, or it was a while back. I, I got a call from uh, Travis Wright uh, from Mobile Local Social, and they put together a pretty cool group of writers, a whole bunch of different writers, and said. Hey, you know, we want to do something cool here. We want to keep it kind of fun and lively and and interesting. So, uh, and and he sent out an email to a bunch of people, and he cc'd everybody. So that's when I come up with this article, like you know, uh, cc how social media killed email, and it was kind of snarky and ornery. And and he said, dude, that's cool because they wanted something a little bit ornery and and have some fun with some articles. So uh, so he said he liked that, and I said, I called him up and I said, hey, dude. Uh, want to know if before I click publish is this cool and uh, so but anyway Travis had asked me to write some stuff and he said we want something fun and snarky and ornery and so uh, so uh, I jumped on board and looked for searched my mind for something that wasn't uh, wasn't too geeky and that's the way I like to write is something that that's just fun and ornery so well, I really wasn't know- intended anything more than that or to, to give someone a hard time at all 
Yeah, I, I, I know that. And um, I, I see where you, you kind of brought in, um, you talked about, uh, you actually talked about your wife as being a, a supermodel <laughs> wife. And, and, hey, 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 dude, that's you fine. I, I mean, I, I, I saw her, joke, a nice dude. looking woman. Hey, I saw her, a nice looking woman. And, and I mean, honestly, you, you gotta, you, you, you don't want to be running around. You're not gonna run around and say, I married this ugly chick, but yeah, yeah. at least I'm happy. <laughs> Well, it was and, kind of my way of making not. fun of myself there a little bit, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, I can see that, and and um, I mean, you know, you took you took a shot at, I want to say you took a shot at Aston Kutcher, and um, you know, and you kind of uh, uh no, I, but he I, didn't take a shot at Aston Kutcher. Yeah, he did. He was, <laughs> yeah, I, I, not really. I, you were kind of putting yourself up there with Ashton Kutcher and Pete. <laughs> oh, 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 no. No, 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 Eric. Aaron, I said, said, I feel your pain, Ashton Christian. Uh, a, my, well, I maybe he could be being a gym shag because of my hot wife. It was a. It was a he said a, the only reason he's not is because he's uh, married to Demi Moore. Demi Moore uh, excludes him from being a. Gym that's shag. a great pick, isn't it? Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, I got no yeah, hair. I mean, I, that's right, but that's why. That's also why, according to Mark, he was excluded because his wife is hot. Yes. <laughs> I thought it was. So yeah, that's so, the I mean, same I was being honorary. And he, he is kind of poking fun at himself. Who's I would like to know, like, Jason. I'd like to know Jason and um, and uh, JD's thoughts of making the list. We heard yours, Pat. Okay, you yeah. You really, fine. like, cool about it, which is cool. Well, uh, go ahead. I mean, yeah, let's do that. Uh, Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, not a, it's not an elite list. It can be. It can go for a whole lot of people. I just added a few examples. I I did I thought it was I, I don't know initially I was like uh, what, uh, but I just thought it was also strange uh, that so many people from Social Blade were on the list uh, compared with the rest of the people there as well. We I we didn't got realize that after the fact. <laughs> it, it, we have uh, three people that were on the show plus one the or that are host of the show plus one that was our guest last week. So um, that's you four know, out of the. Who was the guest last week? Reg. Reg. Oh, oh, I thought Reg was a regular part of the show. See, I don't. That's a drill now. I always end up tied up. But, you know, the funny thing is, and it may have been that you guys were all tweeting or doing something around the same time, because I did actually go through some recent tweets. I was like, hmm, who could I pick out of here? I was kind of looking for random people, and I was looking for uh, uh, really a lot of, of, of randomness. I mean, actually, the funny thing is, Robert Scoble was a way afterthought. And someone said that to me and said, dude, you missed Robert Scoble. I'm like, oh, you got a point there, you know? And then actually even um, a couple of people were missing. It was like, you know, I've got better examples than this. JD? JD? Uh-oh, did we lose JD? Yes, we lost me. We lost me. <laughs> I was lost, lost from the beginning. J.D., what, how did you feel about the article that was written about? Which article? <laughs> Just kidding. Nice. That was awesome. Um, <laughs> All right, Alan from Hangover. What did you think of that article? <laughs> um, Go ahead, dude. Yeah, I think, you know, uh, I think that at the end of the day, all things being equal, um, as I stall through trying to determine how to say it or, or what to say best, um, I think it would be best if I just smile and say nothing. Well, I, I can take, take your, your picture off there. I can take you off the list if you want it. Oh, it no, wasn't... I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> now, uh, now um, let's be honest, Mark. Uh, you and I have talked how many times? I you think know, I don't one, know. just the one time, right? It seemed like we talked, it's been quite a while back, it seemed like either, maybe you were on my webcast, or we had talked sometime, it seemed. Yeah, I, I did, I, uh, oh, I, I, I ventured back into uh, 4 Channel one night with uh, my buddy Ed, and Zach, and Ted, and we were looking for, I don't even know, and we were going through 4 Channel, and uh, came across your show that you did, yeah. um, out of the... Uh, out of your garage, uh, you know, which is which is fine. I'm not making fun of the location. Oh no, I was about it. I, I mean, because you had a lot of people there. I probably, I think 
I, I've been known to take my webcast to the garage when I decide I want to smoke. Oh, uh, yeah, that might have been it. I don't go very long without a cigarette. Yeah, I, I understand that. That's what fuels me. Um, that's another thing I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, you had this saying that you have on your uh, Twitter account, and um, it was also at the bottom of the article, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, you're an SEO and social, I guess, social media strategist, or uh, you're an internet marketing and website development blog, correct? Mm-hmm. All right, now your main theme is you may, I take coffee and cigarettes and turn them into better social media and SEO. Can briefly, briefly, just wrap, what is that all about? Well, you know, you eat and you breathe, and, and I smoke cigarettes and drink coffee. Those okay. are what fuel me, man. Those are like race fuel. All right, I, I mean, I can see that, and, and I understand. If I were to come to you and say I had a site, um, mm -hmm. and, and I mean, what are you going to do for me? And, and don't think of me as, as I, I've never touched social media. Mm -hmm. I want to come to you. Tell me what you're going to do for me. Well, it depends on it depends on what you're doing. I mean, I take the time and and make a plan. Uh, you know, I help people develop a plan to uh, to uh, reach a market, reach an, a market appropriately. Um, you know, it's 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 different in every case, but some of the principles are the same. You know, you've got to have something that people want, and most everybody has a product that people want. They just don't know how to make it so appealing that people have to have it. And that's part of what I do is try to make it uh, stand out to something to be something that people have to have. Uh, so I can create traffic for them. I can create content for them, uh, and I can I can put that content out there. Well, good. I, I mean, that sounds like the way to go. Um, I give us some of your examples of some of your uh, um, better conquests. Some of your uh, some of the jobs if. if if I came to you, who would you show me as a, a referral? Uh, you know, um, <laughs> tough question. You know, it, it in some cases it it depends. I mean, I'd try to probably show you something that was either similar to your industry, or uh, what is this? I was just looking at uh, looking at the chat there. Um, you know, I'd probably look at, at any of my clients that were in a similar industry, maybe, and and find something that was appropriate, either that or a similar instance or circumstance to. Uh, to their uh, to to what they're doing, uh, you know, I, I've worked with a lot of lot of large and small, little jobs, big jobs, kind of some of everything over the years, and and uh, there are similarities to them. But you know, if you can find something that's appropriate, uh, find an appropriate uh, case for them, usually makes more sense. But you know, um, like for example, I mean, I I kind of I wrote something on my blog at awebguide.com today that uh, was about a city that just is completely not getting it with regard to reaching people and, and, and not just reaching them, but having a, uh, having a cheering section that will stand up for them and want to come and, and visit their town. Well, you know, their travel and tourism down there is, is hurting. And, and, uh, but if you go to look at their Facebook, they've got a Facebook profile, not a Facebook page. You know they've got a blog on uh, on Blogspot that has two uh, two two uh, two uh, subscribers, and it's Eureka Springs, Arkansas. And you know the funny thing is, you know I look at that, and if that was my client, uh, you know where to start? <laughs> Probably get rid of anybody that has anything to do with uh, with that with that social media of that town. Um, but you know I, I just as an example, the blog post I wrote had more attention uh, across social media than that city that spent $40,000 on a bad website did all year, <laughs> you know? Yeah. JD? Um, we have a, a, a question from the audience. JD Umbrella wants to know, do you accept cigarettes and coffee as payment? You, you know, it'd, take, it'd, probably, <laughs> probably, it'd probably take a lot of cigarettes and coffee. <laughs> What's that doing? No, I, I take money. I take Visa, Mastercard, American Express, Discover, checks, cash. You take pence. I heard that. <laughs> I, I would take pence. I, I'll take pence. Okay. 
You know, Mark, um, I'll, I'll give you two cartons of Reds and uh, ten packages of Starbucks Insta Mix coffee if you uh, will give me some social media advice. It's known as Via, and it's awesome. It's Via, as JD corrected me. I just yeah. know it's instant coffee, so that's what I call it. It's awesome. How about it, bro? Good See, deal. Yeah. I can give no. you a simple advice. Just keep being a dupe shag, man. No, but he's not Solid. qualified as a dupe shag yet. In fact, Ergo and JD aren't ranked nearly as high as I am. Well, I think one of them's close to me, but uh, the other one are the lower half of the six. I'm on the upper half. Very flattering. I, you know, did I order those? I, I, don't, I can't remember if I put them in alphabetical or if I just did a random on them. If it, well, you it was, did. You, you, I, it might. I don't. Well, I, I would, think it went I random. Hope that it's or, no, I think I'm going to say that it was in some sort of order for the pictures. But you did it. You did alphabetize the uh, the links. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did those alphabetical, and the other ones, I think they just went random or something. Sure. Um. I, I'd I'd love. We got a little bit of time left. Um, why isn't anyone, uh, Amanda wants to know, why isn't anyone offended by this? Well, Amanda, I mean, I, I tell you what, I'm going to let JD answer that question. Well, I mean, I personally am not offended because, you know, I, as Aaron mentioned earlier, um, I'm one who does not believe in, in, uh, you know, I, I let things roll off my back, roll off my skin, um, roll off my, whatever you want to roll off. And so, and again, I've been called a social media douchebag in the past, not a dupe shag before, but, but I have been called a social media douchebag publicly and, um, and by a friend as of all things. But, uh, but yeah, it's, you know, it, it's okay by me. Uh, well, I think it was a term of respect is the way it was intended. And actually, if you read the addendum on that blog post, I made sure that that was clear, that it was, it was a term of respect and certainly not disrespect and it's in no way related to douche bag it is dub shag you just might need a dub to shag to I'm shag this guy but you know what chicks really like dub shags i found that out i was kind of looking around and chicks like dub shags i do have somebody on the line um i'm gonna try to bring him in patrick will you stall for about uh 30 seconds sure absolutely um mark you know i mean yeah. I, I i don't want to go back to uh your your thing i i know Obviously, you live in a nice house. I, I, I see the stuff, you know, and I'm sure your wife has a nice job and everything. But obviously, you're pretty successful. You're ger uh, generating enough money or income to live in a house. Uh, looking at the background that you have uh, behind you, it, it appears that you have a, a nice house inside as well. Um, so apparently, you are successful in social media uh, and getting things done. It, what... what uh, not so much the person that's trying to build their website. What do you have for as far as ad advice with everyone else that's trying to take your type of money? Like, I mean, you're working out of Kansas, correct? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm I'm working out of Maryland. Say I wanted to do it, which I don't. I I I got a full plate right now. But what advice would you give me? For what? Uh, to, to be an SEO. To be to be more like you doing the type of work that you're doing. Make a living if out of telling people how to run sites. In other words, if we're going to be dupe shags, we at least might as well be paid to be dupe Yeah. Well, I think trying and keep trying. You know, um, I, you know I've, I've been in the industry of SEO and, and, and okay. marketing and uh, I've been in it for a long, long time. Uh, I created a company that uh, we... And, uh, up until the uh, early 2009, we had been a large-scale aggregator of Internet access. So I sold a whole lot of Internet access to Internet service providers, provided their radius authentication, their web servers, their email servers, their, um, their access to all the major networks, about 14 different networks. And, you know, it worked for us, and, and we did very well at that. The industry changed. We saw layoffs with some of the well, vendors. Oh. Uh, Hell, I lost more money in the last year than a lot of guys will probably make in a lifetime. But, you know, uh, that's why I say keep trying. Keep trying. If you're not trying, you know, if, if you think you're doing something wrong, um, really, it's probably because you quit trying. Hey, uh, hey, 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 Mark. Yeah, oh, Mark wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Um, Mark, um, bringing in a good friend of the show. and uh, Yeah, Reg. Kid, and hey, we got Reg Sadler. And a fellow... Dube shag. 
Hey, Wedge, how you doing, buddy? What's up, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, doing great, my friend. Um, uh, and actually, my video is up too on UStream. If you can pull the feed in, but um, yeah, uh, Mark, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I've owned two IT consulting firms, you know, and it's like um, yeah, I mean, we've 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 made and lost money. Uh, it doesn't really. It, I don't know if that's relevant with like uh, the the current current article that you just posted. I mean, it's like a. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, you can read between the lines. I mean, it, it's okay. like um, uh, uh, pretty much you're saying that like you know I'm a dweeb. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, dude. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I'm just saying. I, I mean, it's like I can call you a uh, a tree frog and then say hey, and I have some fellow tree frogs. And go on about that, but um, uh, dude, <laughs> come on. Uh. <laughs> do you want me to take? Do you want me to remove your name from the Doom Shags? No, 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 no. That's the whole thing. I don't want my name removed. You know, I uh, it was uh, fun, uh, man. It's, it's sort of like like a, a name of honor. Um, uh, I yeah, it was. It's, it's a like term a, of endearment you know, I mean, for people. Um, you, you're trying to become become more relevant uh, uh, again on, on on Twitter and in social media. So you're using this maybe to propel yourself. No, and you know, and and you well, know, well, well, like, like you're gonna say yes. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> no, hey, look, look at this, Reg. Let me tell you something. And I said this in the addendum that I wrote onto that, onto that. Well, yeah, you need a, book. you need a fucking addendum for that. Nah, what you... no, look, I don't write shit to not be seen. Hey, 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 hey guys. Oh, oh, sorry, hey, sorry. Reg. I don't write things. That are not for public consumption. I write things for people to see and for a lot of people to see. Six, 16 retweets. That's all I'm going to say. Right, right, right. And, 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 you know, I would have retweeted that myself, but um, no. You know, I mean. Tweet being count, it was obvious Reg did not tweet it. Well, no, but, you know, there were a good number of people that did, but, you know, there were also, I mean, a hundred and some people hit it on dig. It was all over Reddit. No, no. I mean, I, I mean, you know, I mean, every funny. time you get at least one hundred digs or like sixteen retweets, I mean, that, that, that's it. A... I'm just saying, man. I mean, um, I kind of, I kind of read the article and, and I thought this isn't going to make the front page of dig. I mean, I understand what you're trying to do, buddy, but you know, where, no, where's no, the no, beat, no, no, where's no, the no. And, and Mark, Mark, I mean, here's the whole thing. Uh -huh. I mean, um, uh, there's no love lost between us, okay? So, so I, I mean, it's it's not like you're on my speed dial and we talk all the time about yeah. stuff. Uh -huh. Now, now, now um, usually when someone is going to come out with an article favorable or or negative about me, you know, I, I, I get a little blip. I get some on Twitter, some, you know, yeah. Ratch, hey, can you promote this? Can you do that? Uh, I, I wasn't hear, looking for people to I didn't promote hear anything. It. And, and actually, I think, Reg, you know what? I did actually – I left you a voicemail not too long ago. I, it may have been right before I published that even, but I don't, I don't recall. Or it was a while back. Anyway, no, I mean I, I wasn't looking for anybody to promote it. I was having fun with it. And, you know, uh, I, you know, really, well, if you, well, if you and, create and, really and, good and, content, and, and, and have, have I mean, have fun. I, I'm having fun right now talking to you. Yeah. Hey, so, so, uh, so, 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 I mean, all I'm saying, and I'm not pissed. <laughs> I, I mean, um, um, I, it's like, yeah, you know, I, I've been called, like, uh, worse by people. Well, hey, I wrote a nice blog post about you a while back. I still see no, one. No, no, I know that. I know that. I, I'm just saying it's like, you know, uh, that was then and this is now. It was, uh, it was yeah, not I, in any I, way I related. Bob Mule is a total douchebag. Guy Kawasaki will never retweet my post. Um, and let's see, um, uh, uh, let's see. Oh, Guy uh, Kawasaki loves me, too. He absolutely well, loves me. I wouldn't have shook his hand. See, 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 Guy doesn't love me, so, you, you know. No, I, um, I meant it sarcastically. He really doesn't love me much. No, 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 uh, Guy's done, like, two retweets for me. Rob McNeely, I can't stand the guy. If Rob's in the chat room, sorry, Rob, you know. <laughs> well, I'm showing now, I'm showing the, uh, article. Honest. I'm showing the article to Gerald right now. I don't believe Gerald has, had seen it, and he's asking me for it. He was in the, the, I think the first he heard of himself being included was actually here during the show, so I'm linking it to him now and waiting for the response. See, uh, and you know, I would have I would have tweeted that out or... or well, or yeah, yeah, yeah or tweeted or what? So you probably should have said by email or per, perhaps a spam bot, right? In Mark's defense, in Mark's defense, he did call me two days ago. 
I wanted to know if you if you minded it, if you liked it or disliked it. I I called you before it was published. Yes, I know. Exactly. Well, well, That's what well, I'm saying well, is that you did well, you did give me the courtesy of. I tried to reach out to at least a good number of the people, the people well, that I knew. Well, on uh, Mark, you have my phone number. Uh-huh. You don't so, answer your phone. I mean, when you I can call. call me and and and, and you have my DM, you have all that stuff. Again, in Mark's defense. Right <laughs> not real good at answering phones, Red. Uh, 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 no, I'm not. I even I even fake my call. I see it on you, and it still doesn't work. I know. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's so true. I mean, um, I, I could have Sir Richard Branson call, calling me in. Yeah, I I don't get the phone. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. See, I wanted to put Joel on there, but Joel's way too damn pretty. Mark, Mark, I, I am I, I so not trying to. Yeah, hey, I, I have a shit over this. Okay. I was having some fun, man. I thought, and I did try to reach some people because I wanted to know what the tone. Because I, I, I did ask, and I asked um, one of the guys. Well, uh, um, uh, Travis at at Mobile Local Social. I said, Hey, Travis, I want you to look at this. It's in a draft. Look at it and tell me if that would offend anybody. He said, "No, I don't think well, so at all." He said, "I think it's hilarious." Yeah, I, I, I mean, then I talked to like Debbie over at like um, you know Debbie's like coffee shop, and she said maybe you should be offended by it. So you know, let you say right, well, now, 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 really, honestly, Reg, this is uh, let, let's let's be honest here. I, you're this is coming from a, uh, I, I I believe I'm a couple years older than you. I, I I've gone through this is my second ex-wife. I'm going through now. Um, I've been called a lot worse than this. Trust me, if if, if being a uh, considered a dupe shack. Now, for me, it's a little different. No, no, no. Well, You're way higher up on that rung on the social media ladder. No, no, no. Do you no, really no, take no, this no. being offensive? Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. I'll chime in right now. Um, 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 I had some followers on Buzz, and, and um, um, let's just say that, you know, maybe it was a clan member or something. <laughs> What? But um, what they clan said, member? Uh, like a KKK yeah, yeah, member? They 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 use the 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 you know uh, N word and some other stuff, saying that that they hate me, yeah yeah yeah, on Buzz, and and I I just you know fired up my Buzz account, didn't really really use it, you know I've been mean, it's just been there, it's been a feed for like uh, uh, Twitter and stuff, but someone said it's like hey you've got like you know a trending topic on Buzz. Uh, you know, from someone who's a hater. So I'm used. I, I got that. I'm like, oh god, okay. And let me pull that topic, pull that stuff. But yeah, <laughs> I'm used to haters. And Mark isn't anywhere close to that. So Mark, no, I'm dude, not a hater sorry, we sorry. Not... No, 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 it, no, no, not, no, no, no. about you. I'm just saying. Um, you know, uh, being on dig for you know, I, I'm still number what five now. Even after like a year and a half, two years of banning. You'll be top ten for a long time to come. Buddy. Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, I'm used to having people hate me about stuff, mm -hmm. or saying you know not so nice, or even nice stuff with a slant. Mark. <laughs> hey man, come on now. I, 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 wait, I have a I have a question. Wait, guys, right. I I do have a question though. I mean, well, I have two. First, if did you really think that you weren't going to get negative feedback? And then secondly, oh, heck no. I mean, did you take it? Hold on. Did you take into consideration that a lot of businesses now take social media seriously when they, they start typing in people's names? They look for those as references. Did you think about that when you're creating this article about naming these people and putting their faces out there? Um, in a negative way, because that's how there's it's nothing perceived. negative about that blog post. You no, there's no, nothing perhaps, negative about Mark. Hold on. Perhaps that's the way you you wrote it. Perhaps you wrote it in a in a in a way that was unintentionally trying not to hurt people in any way, shape, or an form. Idea. You were doing it in fun. Okay. But I'm telling you how it was perceived no, on I my got, end. I got an idea for you. I got an idea for you. Go to Congress. Uh, go to Congress and tell them to rewrite the Constitution for that. And you no, can no, tell no, me no, no. I, 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 I personally love uh, this is Red Talk. I personally love all Klan members and 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 their First Amendment rights. To yeah. speak, and no, I, mean I mean that. Well, I, I wouldn't go. I, this isn't. A, no, no, no. Wait, like, wait. And, and I'm and not it, lying. It, I mean it, that. Author's opinion. And, and, and you know what? Uh, an Mark brings up a good. Wait a minute. Mark brings up a great point. He's wrote an article, and he's claiming that it's he's claiming that it's not uh, supposed to be derogatory towards anyone that it's written about. 
I added an addendum and to make wait sure. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't need you didn't need to do an addendum. You did an addendum to make yourself feel good. You didn't do an addendum because you had to. You did no, it because you wanted to. No, wait a minute, Mark, wait a minute. Now that being said, you have First Amendment rights to talk about and and print basically whatever you can as long as it's not slanderous or libel. Uh, that doesn't mean that I can't write an article and in the same way talk about you talk about anybody else and in a certain way that I feel uh, that would be um, comical. Um, See, that I, being said, it, that, the challenge I'm, is there. Uh, it, there's, a, there's a poll. And I'd be I believe flattered it, by it. Well, yeah, I know. And then uh, you got to love it because this is stirring up controversy. Right now you're getting paid views. Uh, the people you wrote it for, they got to love it. I mean, you're generating the type of popularity – this show is bringing you just that much more. Um, it's the controversy. If you wrote, "Hey, Reg and Patrick and JD and Ergo and 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 Guy and all these people are great guys and you'd love to hang out with them and drink a beer," no one's gonna care. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. if, if, you, if you put them all together and you say that, oh, you're gonna check. generate comments. You're gonna generate. Controversy, you're going to generate hate. And, 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 but, but wait, more more power to Mark. But, I mean, more power to Mark because it, it's like without controversy or like an a air of, uh, you know, like uh, I won't use that word. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, but I mean, um, if you aren't what stirring word, it up. What word, what word? Come on, give it to me. What is the word? Uh, without an air of deceit. <laughs> what? Deceit? No, you know, truly, I don't write things for to 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 like I said in that blog post. I don't write things for my cats. I don't even yeah, well, have well, any well, cats. Do, do, I write do, things do, for do. a lot of people to read. Wait, wait, wait. How, how oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Take hold control. Up. Um, um, you should write. You should write stuff to get traffic. So if you need yeah. to be controversial, it do it. That. And it make did that. it happen. That's right. You know, well, I, is, I, I, mean, I am going to say. That. He is, uh, he, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 one sec, one sec. I created that sec. content, yeah. Uh, yeah, you did, you did, and it's getting the traffic that it's supposed to, I understand. Um, we, we get a little bit out of control, this is getting kind of way off, not way off topic, but getting off topic. I, you know, it's, it is what it is, you know, we're going to have to wrap up the show here. Um, it was, it was great to talk about this and get this out, um. I can understand how some of the people wouldn't be as flattered by this article as I, I was, um, you know, and I showed this in, um, but I, I mean, I take everything with a grain of salt. Uh, there's so much stuff going on in everyday life that, you know, written words and stuff like this, uh, it, it doesn't really bother me. But when you throw me in a group of people, uh, uh like Reg and, um, Ergo and JD and, and, uh, you know, Robert Chobel and Guy Kawasaki and all these other people. And well, I, I, I don't know them. And those people guys. never talk to me. But There's I mean, that's just me. This doesn't have enemies. I would like to have a last word. What's this now? I would like to have the last word. Okay. Okay, before so, you have the last word, before you do, I do want to say that, yeah, in the room, um, said that perception is reality and people are telling you they perceive it as negative. Normal people would change how they look at what they write, what they wrote. So perhaps maybe in the future, if you want to, you could think maybe, is this going to be negative or is this going to be positive? Is it going to be perceived how I want it to be perceived? I'm not so, I mean, that's a big crucial part about writing. I'm not your grandmother. What's I'm that? an honorary crusty writer. Okay. I, okay. That's, that's what you need to be. That's what you need to be. I am just that's a guy I am okay. and I make no apologies for that. I write fun stuff. Guys, I just want you to... You don't need to. I want you to know that I am your grandmother. And therefore, I will speak the last word. Now, one thing I do want to, want to note, make two quick notes. Um, we did introduce the story to a fellow dupe shag uh, for the first time. And his response was very enlightening, I thought. Um, made a good point even to me and how I feel. He said... I'm listed as a high-profile social media douchebag. I must have done something right. And he's absolutely correct. The people that aren't on this list, um, you know, or I should say the people who are on this list, all of, all of the people have done something or another that has gotten the attention of um, other people. So basically, 
you know, regardless of, of the naming faction, whether it's 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 something that, <clears throat> excuse me, regardless of whether it, it's it's link bait or it's traffic bait or it's it's just an opinion <laughs> or it's somebody's grandmother, doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not where where I'm changing my view. I am I am happy and proud to be on this list personally as your grandmother. Now, with that said. Um, <laughs> With that said, we did take a poll, and the poll results are in. 59.3% um, did not care for the article. 30.3% um, 30, uh, 30. uh, were indifferent, and a little over 10% loved it. So there's a lot of a lot of difference here. But the bottom line at the end of the day, for what the purpose of the article was, it worked. People are reading it. And so for that, sir, um, I bow, bow to you. Um, thank you, Mark. Thank you, Reg. I think Reg left. I think I think he ran Reg off with the grandmother comment. But, oh, <laughs> he's afraid of grandmothers. Yeah. So, but but yes, Patrick, um, close out the guest, please. Uh, no, I mean, uh, I just want to say, uh, to be honest, uh, I, I I I thought uh, what you did was great. Uh, not not so much flattering for me uh, per se, but I think you did. But uh, the editor of that uh, site wanted you to do. They they wanted you to create content that would get views, controversy, and have it talked about. And I I think you fully did your job. I mean, if you were paid on a, a percentage of how much that you did to complete, you you did you pushed all the buttons to get your pay money and get paid. So uh, very good. And thank you for coming on and and being our guest. Um, right yeah, thanks, Mark. Well, thanks where, for having me. Where are you me. online when you're not on here or that other site? What's your website? Who, me? And, and, and Joel's rubbing his nipples. <laughs> Joel. Were you talking to me, JD? Yes, you, Mark. Mark oh, awebguy.com. I'm I'm a web guy. He is a web guy. And, and you know, anybody that Dot takes com. offense to that stuff, hey, you know, go look at what I said about Eureka Springs, Arkansas today. Uh, I offended a whole town. <laughs> Not just a couple doob shags. I offended a whole bunch of barefooted people. <laughs> Corn cobs. You know, smoke. I will say this, Mark. Huh? I will. I will say this, Mark. I know I wasn't on the list, and I know that I've come down hard on you. You're a girl. <laughs> but at the same time, I, I, I'm a girl. Yeah. Um, at the same time, I will say, like, it's uh, kudos to you for sticking by what you wrote. So. Hey, I was just having you know, fun. That's all I can you know, and and like I said, I mean, I write things. I some people go out on the internet all day long, and they're looking for content to share with people. Somebody has to create mm -hmm. that. Yes, you know? absolutely. Sure. And and I believe in polarizing an audience. If you know, if you have to say the color of the sky is purple, to get someone to uh, to you know, some people will love it, some people will hate it, but someone's got to write it. In my world, the sky is purple. In our See? World, some people agree. In, in our world, we do believe that you should come to the Social Blade Show every single week, Thursdays at 7 p.m. That's Pacific time in sunny California as I wear a short sleeve shirt. Sorry, my East Coast friends. Um, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. And uh, J.D., what about our friends over at... Uh... Drill down, and um, yes, we can uh, so, uh, social blend as well. Uh, shout we out to, to our friends going. at Social Blend, um, Dave and Company. Dave, sorry, Greg and Co Dave <laughs> got hard. Greg, hard, Greg hard, 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 and hard, 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 Yes, Jay, Greg and Company um, put on a wonderful show, uh, Social Blade or Social Blend show, which we'll put the links to that in our in our <laughs> room. Um, every Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific time, we have the, the Drill Down, which is at thedrilldown.com. Uh, great show. Been going on for, for, wow, a couple of years now. Um, good stuff there. Thanks to hothardware.com. Uh, they've all the company. Getting information in different pages throughout the week. Um, and, and at all times. Now, we are, and thanks to, to Aaron Ryan, we have been working exceptionally hard on our our Twitter, our Facebook, our YouTube. Um, and you can just, just think Social Blade across the board. 
Twitter.com slash social blade, Facebook.com slash social blade, and look at beautiful Reg right on the screen with uh, social blade, uh, YouTube.com slash social blade. Subscribe to us, fan us, follow us, talk about us, write about us. Stronger. Um, don't forget to So much to our guest, Mark Murnahan. Yes, I know I'm taking it too far. Um, at Murnahan, <laughs> U R N A H A M on Twitter. That is his his primary venue. Also found at awebguy.com. Uh, and uh, checking my notes because I've been doing this off the top of my head for, for a minute. So I need to make sure I'm not missing anybody. Oh, thank the guests that we already did. Thank the fans. Yes, thank you, fans. You guys are wonderful. We love all And of you them. have one more week to vote for your favorite digger. So how do you vote? How do you email, vote? Uh, how do you vote? Have, please email Patrick Paris at genocide three one two at gmail dot com. And for people, you can yes, also, for people that don't know how to spell genocide, how do you spell that, Aaron? J E N O C I D E. It'll also be on our blog post later on tonight. So check out our blog post at socialblade.com slash show. Or you might be there right now if you're not on Ustream. Um, and take it away, JD. Uh, and and, you and, and, and if, if you're on G Talk, you can uh, get me there too and hit me up. And people are hitting me up uh, in um, G Talk conversations. Go ahead. Yes. And Patrick's, this first official vote, um, I would personally like to nominate Victor. Oh, damn it. Your vote, don't count. Your vote don't count. Doesn't count. Nor does Victor. Scratch. Oh. Victor is my favorite <laughs> dig user of all time. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> if I had a vote, I would vote for, you guessed it, Mr. Baby Man. Mr. Baby Man. He's not even here. You don't need to kiss his ass, but go ahead. That's fine. <laughs> no, seriously, man. Dude, day in, day out. Just look at what he said. Just remember. You better vote for your, you you better better vote for your fiance. <laughs> Just remember that... that if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling weary, if you, you feel like social media is just kicking your tail and you really just need a, a respite, a, a rest from the from the travels and you're, you're, you're just not feeling completely social, check us out on Thursday nights because we are Social Blade.